Hello everybody and welcome back. It's the holidays and what better way to bring them in than to make some delicious tamales. I will be showing you how I make these red chili beef tamales. Super easy. Let's get started. To get started, I bought two packs of this tamale meat and each pack was about six to seven pounds. So it's a total of about 14 pounds here. I'm going to start with one pack at a time and I'm going to take off those nasty things. I don't like that. So here I diced it up and I'm adding it to my Instapot. You can cook this in a big pot. Um, I happen to like the Instapot so I'm going to do this in two parts. So one package first and then the other package. But they're both going to have garlic, onion, laurel, and salt. And enough water. And I'm going to cook this about two hours. And now that that's cooking, we're going to get to the chili part. I'm going to be using one whole bag of the New Mexico medium chili pods. I'm going to be removing as much seeds as I can and of course the stem. After that, I'm going to add some olive oil to my pan. I do like to toast these. Um, I think it gives it a better flavor. I'm gonna toast it just until I smell that aroma. You really don't want to burn these. So once you smell that aroma, you wanna take it out the pan. And then just adding it to another pot over here. And here I'm going to do my second batch. I am also going to be using Chile Guajillo, Chile California, and some puya and i am going to be adding a little a bit i think i'm going to add two chile de arbol you can add as much chile de arbol it just depends how spicy you want your tamales i'm also going to toast those chilies once that was done i'm going to add enough water to my pot And I'm going to bring this up to a boil. Once it's up to a boil, I'm going to cover it. And I'm going to let it just sit there to soften for at least 30 minutes. Once they have softened, I'm going to also do this in two parts because that is a lot of chili. Um, for this one, I'm just going to add the chili and I'm going to add some water. I am using the water from where the chili was cooked, you can use fresh water. I'm gonna blend this well, and I am going to strain this chili into my glass bowl. You don't wanna skip this step because you do not want to leave seeds or any of that skin from the chili. For the second one, I'm going to be adding chicken bouillon, garlic cloves, onion, and enough water. After I'm done straining, this is my chili. 
And now that the meat has cooked, I'm gonna add it to my bowl here. So after, this is just one package of meat. After I'm done with this one, I'm going to cook the other one. I did remove the laurel leaves um, and the onion that was left behind and the garlic because I'm going to be using this juice for the masa. So do not get rid of that juice. You need it for your masa. And I'm going to just shred this. And I do like to add some of that chili sauce into my meat. You can skip this step if you like. Once that was done, I'm going to move that to the side. And what I'm doing here is just adding water. I'm going to bring it to a boil. And this is the same thing I did when I made the green chili tamales. So it is pretty much the same. If you want to learn how to make the green chili I made those out of chicken. If you want to learn how to make those, I will leave the link down below for that recipe. So what I just did, I soaked them. I did flip them around every now and then. And once they were softened, it doesn't take very long. Um, I'm going to say it took about 20 minutes. And then I'm going to add it there just so it'll, the water will dry out. Now getting to the masa part. I'm adding two pounds of lard. And I'm going to whip this for a good 10 minutes. I'm looking for that silky and soft manteca. Once I was done with that, this is the maseca that I use. It's a four pound. I'm going to add that to my bowl and going to add in two tablespoons of baking powder and one tablespoon of salt. Getting in there with my clean hands. I'm going to just mix this until it gets to that point. And then we are going to start adding our liquid. So adding the liquid little by little.
and it's hot so just be careful you can use gloves but i'm pretty much already used to the hot and i'm just going to mix that all in and once i'm done with all that i'm going to show you how i like my masa you don't want to have a dry masa because then your tamales will be all hard And just remember that masa takes a lot of liquid. This is why you want to keep all that liquid from the meat that you cooked it in. And it's almost getting there. So I'm just going to keep adding and adding at this point. Once I was done with that, this is pretty much how I like my masa. And this is done. So now we're going to start making our tamales. Now grabbing your corn husk, you want to make sure that you're using it on the softer side. There's a rough side and there's a soft side. You want to add the masa to the soft side. So adding that masa on there I'm going to add enough of this meat and I am going to add in there some extra chili sauce Closing that up and I am going to wrap these in some, um, it's like a parchment paper type that I bought at the store and this is to prevent it from not leaking. Now you can use a spoon, you can use um, whatever to add your masa on there anything works so I'm going to continue to do this until it's all done and with the amount that I used the two packs of meat the masa um, I actually got seven dozen tamales out of this And the way I cook these is in my Instapot. And I already showed how to do that. I didn't. This is the paper that I use in case you guys want to use it. So here I'm going to show you how I cook the tamales. So this is in my Instapot and I just add enough water. I'm going to add the tamales in there and I have some green in there as well because I did the green ones too. And this does fit a pretty good amount. I mean, if you want to cook like a whole bunch, of course, you're not going to use this. But if it's just a small amount, then it's good. And I pretty much just cook it for 20 minutes, 20 minutes, and they are done. And there you go, the red beef chili tamales.
Oh, I just cannot wait to have one of these. These are actually my favorite ones, the red ones, and then, you know, the green ones. But my favorite ones are these red ones. Yummy. The masa is so soft. It is not hard at all. It has enough chili. It has enough beef. Well, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys make this recipe. Let me know how you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And this is how I package my tamales. See ya! Mm -hmm.